Hey guys, so today we are back to the Amara's lesson. We're doing her fourth lesson today. We're going to be working quite a lot on uh, her clutch control and using the gas and the clutch to uh, come out of junctions. I think she mentioned that on the last lesson, that's what she wanted to improve on. So that's what we're going to be working on today. Um, we're working in a different area than the last two lessons. This area is going to allow us to go a bit further in terms of the, the area and doing different roads and hopefully get onto busier, busier traffic situations and um, yeah, maybe even drive home, who knows. Uh, yeah, so hopefully you guys enjoy it and if you do, please share, like, subscribe and all that kind of stuff. You all right? How are you okay? Hi, how are you? Good, I'm good. Can you put your stuff at the back yeah. or you're right? Yeah. So we head off to oh, near your school. Yeah? yeah, okay. Okay. I've been this is my first lesson, isn't it? Yeah. So today I thought we could um it's a bit better to circle around there yeah. actually. Nice day today as well, isn't it? I know, it's so warm. <laughs> well, for this month. <laughs> yeah. Yesterday, did you see the rain yesterday? Yeah. Were you out and about yesterday? I was, I was, I was luckily in the car. I was oh, just right. going to test. I just left Tesco. Yeah. It was pouring. So I was on my way home. By the time I got home, it was, it stopped though. Yeah. It was like pretty much flooded everywhere I was driving yeah. yesterday. Did you have a lesson yesterday? I did, yeah. So we were driving. One of them was on a, on a country road. Oh, really? uh, yeah, and it's like it got basically it got flooded there. Oh no! And yeah, puddles everywhere. Yeah. Nearly lost control of the car. So, really? Yeah. So I went back there today with him. I was hoping that we could do it again, but it was uh, it wasn't as as wet obviously because it's dried up now. Yeah. But yeah, when it comes to puddles, because it's not something that you normally get. Yeah. Especially he like lots of like heavy puddles. Yeah. Because um, I had one guy actually fail his test for going too fast through a, a pedal, uh, puddle a yeah because it's not something you can practice because you don't see that yeah. situation all the time what do you think you should do if you see a, like a heavy like a big puddle in front of you um well first check who's around you see if you can slow down yeah definitely and then what could, what else could you do if there's if enough it's space clear. you could go around it yeah if it's safe to exactly that's what the examiner said you should have done just slow down a bit yeah uh, check around him yeah. uh, and if there's enough space go around this was on a national speed road as well oh really on a country road yeah so it was a bit it was quite fast yeah and the water splashed all oh, across no. the windscreen so you couldn't see for a yeah. couple of seconds what yeah. way he was going yeah how's the dancing going oh it's okay I'm, I'm so sore today because really? I've got to film tomorrow um, this is I, I, I don't normally film like because you know I filmed last week yeah. and then I'm going to film tomorrow I don't normally film like one week after the other so I'm going to take one week break and then I would be filming next week so I'm doing two in a row so right. I'm really tired so you do like uh, you film basically for two two weeks worth two weeks worth in yeah, one go sort of. okay temporary light here so I'm hoping to come down here as well a bit later on okay. once we do a few more uh, laps around okay. your school because you can do uh, you can turn quite well now isn't it well yeah compared yeah. to compared to the first lesson yeah what have you been thinking about doing doing today is there anything new that you want to that you want to practice or um, anything from the last lesson so I wanted to practice clutch control so yeah. um i think in the in the last lesson yeah when i watched back at the video i was there was points where i was taking my foot off the clutch mm. quite high yeah at points and we kind of zoomed forward a bit yeah um 
I also noticed that I, I have a habit of putting my foot on the brake as I'm turning or just like covering it a bit. Okay. Um, and I'm sort of just moving with the clutch. Without the gas. Without the gas, yeah. yeah. So I, it's like I wait after the turn's finished and then I put my foot on the, on gas, the gas. And then yeah. sometimes uh, I'm too slow. I should be like, I should be zooming off already okay. by that point. So remember I told you that sometimes you do need to do it that way, especially like yeah, if yeah. it's um, <clears throat> if it's quite narrow. So yeah. let's say you've turned yeah. and there's, a, there's like a zebra crossing or something or an island that you need yeah. to navigate around. Yeah. Using the gas too much there could make it very difficult. Yeah, yeah. So sometimes you do need to just kind of go there really slowly with just the clutch and then afterwards start adding gas. Because if you go around too fast, you're most likely going to hit the, the island. Yeah. So like just there, I was, I was using a bit of gas yeah. and the clutch as well. Um, so we've got lots of space to practice here today, so we can do that. Yeah. Um, how do you want to do it? Do you want to practice just the clutch control f uh, first of all, and then start driving around, or do you want um, to? I can. Yeah, we could do it that way. I could practice clutch control. Yeah. First. Okay. Let's do that then. Just gonna pull up here. All right, let's pop over. so it doesn't let you, you don't forget it. Yeah? A lot of people leave their phones in there and then have to drive back to their house, drop it back to them. So yeah, it's a bit long. So you, you get yourself comfortable while I start looking at your notes, yeah? Okay. Where's the button on this again? I forget. Just there. Oh, push it in, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's the Is lowest we can go, yeah. I reckon that's the, that's the lowest. Oh, okay. Yeah, let me treat. Click. Okay. Yeah, how are your mirrors looking? If it's, it's not, not moving, yeah, you need to turn the key, that's why, yeah? That's it. Well, the sun's really in my eye here. Can you still see the mirror, though? Okay. Yeah, I can see it, but if, when I look, the sun... Yeah? Uh, you can bring the sun visor down. Yeah, Is that better? It. Is it on oh, this yeah, side yeah, of no, you? No, it's, it's here, but it's blocking it. Okay, sort of. you can push it further if you want, as well. Okay. So just looking through the notes here, um, it was quite a decent drive. We've got a few things to want to, wanted to work on from the last lesson, yeah. including the clutch control, which we're going to try now, yeah, yeah, in a bit. Uh, and part of that was bringing up the clutch smoothly. So you, you mentioned earlier as we were driving here that you're you notice you're bringing it up too high, yeah. Yeah. Uh, when should you when should you stop bringing it up? Do you think when, as you're moving? Or? Stop bringing it up. Yeah. So you know you said. You're, you're bringing it up too high? Yeah. Where, when do you stop bringing it up as you're moving up so it's not at, too high? At the biting point? Yeah, yeah. So when you feel the car moving, that's the biting point. Hold it there. How long do you hold it for? Three seconds. But between three and five seconds. Yeah. And then ease off, yeah? Yeah. Because if you bring up higher than that, what will happen? Um, I could stall. Could stall or? The car will just go forward really quickly. Go yeah. too fast. So that's one yeah. of the two, two main causes of that, yeah? Yeah. Um, Bringing up the clutch smoothly, you already mentioned that. Positioning when you're turning right. 
Did you see on the video what? Um, Sorry, it's yeah, so loud. loud yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see on the video where I was saying to you about the reference point in terms of like lining the mirror yeah. up with the centre line? Yeah. Yeah. So you... um, if I'm turning right, then yeah, and the centre line should be underneath this right uh, mirror. It should be kind of in line with it. So if you're looking, let's say we're turning right into a yeah. side road. Yeah. When you look into that road, yeah. the line in the middle of that road. Yeah. should look like it's lined up with your wing mirror. Yeah, okay. Then that'll be the good position for you to okay. start your turn, yeah? Yeah. Um, coming off the brake as well and moving off, that's also going to be part of you using your clutch control properly so that you're um, not using your brake really as you're, as you're trying yeah. to move off, yeah? Because yeah. remember at some points last lesson you was making like a weird noise as, as the car moved off. Yeah. And you're wondering what that was? Yeah. Yeah, it's because you had your foot on the on clutch. The oh, oh, sorry, on the brake. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, on the brake. Yeah, yeah. You had your foot on the brake. Um, so the car is trying to move, but then you're holding it and then suddenly yeah. their brake lets let go. So to avoid that noise, just come off the brake first and then add a bit of gas if you need to. And then uh, drive on, yeah? Yeah. Um, so yeah, we're going to practice a bit of clutch control uh, first so the idea here really for us today we're gonna go around and do some turns i know last time we were here we were turning around and then just sticking to this road isn't it yeah are you are you okay with going a bit onto the other road as well uh, um, do some turns and then coming back around yeah i hope so yeah yeah don't worry I remember i've got the control to help you as well yeah. so i won't let you do anything that's going to be too difficult or too okay. scary okay yeah. um yeah and then also i think you mentioned as well identifying when to use gear one for certain roads yeah yeah is that for like for the turns you're talking about? Yeah, for the turns. Yeah. Because there was points where um, I was in two, mm. but I should have really been in one. So um, like for narrower roads. Yeah. Um, so that I don't like zoom forward. Okay. Would you like me to kind of guide you through it at first? Yeah. Tell you, okay, this this one should be in gear one. Yeah. And then as we go on, kind of give you that responsibility. Yeah. Then by the end of the lesson, hopefully you can kind of yeah. decide yourself when to go yeah. into one. Yeah. Um, okay, cool. Any questions about what we're doing or any questions from before? Um, no, I think I'll be okay. I just need to practice the clutch control and cool. yeah, I just want to practice moving off with the gas in the background. And the clutch, yeah. All right. When you're ready, let's turn the engine on. So I put my foot down, isn't it? And then turn yeah, the turn key. it off first. Yeah, then clutch all the way down now and then turn all the way. I said, always make sure you hear that noise first yeah. before you do anything else. Okay. So, do you want me to, to do this, this side, this, the center one? Okay. Yeah. Put it into neutral, please. Yeah. Yeah. Whenever you're doing anything, you want to make sure it's in neutral, yeah? yeah? So good? Mm -hmm. Okay. So even here, add a bit more gas than that as well. Yeah, so try. About a bit more? Yeah. About that much is perfect, yeah? Okay. So when you're ready, we look around. So actually, we're not going to actually move off here. We're just going to practice just moving with the gas and the clutch, okay? So we're not going to go into the road. We're just gonna stick Go to forward. the yeah. We're just gonna stick to the to the left. Okay. So we're not going. We're not joining the road really. We're just gonna move off, stop, move off, stop. We're just with the gas and the clutch. Yeah. Okay. You get what I mean or no? Sort of. Okay. Going to neutral. I explain okay. what I mean. Yeah. Clutch down. Yeah. So instead of normally we'd move off and drive on down the road, yeah. right? But we, we want to practice just moving and stopping for now. Okay. Yeah. So instead of going into the middle of the road, just stick to where the parking bays are. Yeah. And we're not going to actually go into the and middle. And then you, do you want me to stop like completely? Yeah, we're going to stop. Uh, yeah, and we're going to stop by the well, maybe by the speed bump and then try again and then stop and then try again. Just to practice moving in the first place. Okay. Yeah. So get into gear one. Okay. Yeah. Let's, let's do it with the handbrake off as well because on a junction you probably would have your handbrake down, right? When oh, you're trying to move on. Okay. Yeah, so handbrake down. Oh, should I do it now? Yeah, just handbrake down. We're not going to move oh, off yet. Just my observations. Right? Mm, yeah, have a look around. We're not remember we're not coming out there though. Yeah, we're just okay. sticking here. Yeah, but check around so you know, make sure there's no one near us. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay, handbrake down. Okay, a little bit of gas as well. Okay, and stop there, please. Clutch all the way down. 
gently, gently, more gently than that, yeah? yeah? So let's try again, but a bit more gas this time. There wasn't any gas there enough, yeah? yeah? So press the gas until you can hear it. A bit more than that, so press it. Yeah, and then clutch a tiny bit up. I'm trying to keep it really slow, so that's, that's, that's good speed. Bring, bring it down a bit on the clutch, down a bit. Down a bit. That's it. And stop there. Yeah, so that was a good amount of gas and then the clutch was at a good position as well and then if you feel like the car's going a bit too quick bring the clutch down again so that okay. you can use that on turns as well so let's do a few more okay. yeah. yeah and then down a bit on the clutch because that's a bit quick there yeah? yeah we're trying to keep it as slow as you can yeah straighten up to the right please yeah stop there Try again. My foot's climbing up again. Okay, so bring it down. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So imagine we're at a junction. Now we can we can move now when you're ready. So yeah. the gas. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Just at that point there. Yeah, and then hold it. Yeah, and then slow down, please. We're gonna stop again. Okay. When you're ready, we'll do one more time. Stop anywhere here, please. Okay. Stop fully. So this time we're going to actually move off and um, join the road here, yeah? Okay. So when you're ready, do your checks. Because we're now moving on to your checks and do your signal as well when you're ready, yeah? Okay. Oh, I didn't put that. Mm, that's it. Okay. Handbrake's not on properly, yeah? Bring oh, it a, bit, a tiny bit higher. That's it. How do I know if it's like fully? Um, if the coil like doesn't move, then it's on oh, properly, okay. yeah. I thought, is it this as well? What is mm, Yeah, so put into neutral for a second, I'll show you what that is, yeah? So that light shows you when it's on, but it comes on pretty much straight away. So even if it's not on properly, so if it's on like that, yeah. oh, it's hardly holding it, but it will, the light will come on. So as soon yeah. as you lift it, the light comes on. Yeah. So it doesn't really tell you how much is holding the car. Okay. Yeah, so you, always, you want to lift Just it. Just got to secure it. Yeah, okay. as much as you can, okay. okay. So use a bit of gas here as well, just get oh, into yeah. the habit of using gas the whole okay. time, yeah? More than that, please. Perfect. Keep your foot, keep your foot on the gas until you, under that same level of noise, that's oh, okay. it. okay. I have a habit of like taking it off. It's, it's tricky when you're looking yeah. around. <laughs> Probably wait for this lorry to go past okay. as well, just in case it's taking up a lot of space, yeah? Turn a bit more to the right so you can join the road. That's good. We're turning left here, please. A bit less gas. A bit less gas. We're turning left here, yeah? Okay, for your steering. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, turning into here, yeah? Okay, go a bit more to the right because we want to go around this guy. Which way do you want to check first? Uh, right. Right, yeah. So just check it and then go around him, yeah? Turn more, please. That's it. Good. A little bit slow over the bumps. Sorry, it's okay. Can... So remember, always just ease off the gas as you approach the speed yeah. bump so that your car doesn't launch into the air, yeah? Yeah. So you're just gonna go slowly here, keeping down this guy's lights. If you, if you get a white light, what does that tell us? What he's trying to do? Is it reverse? Yeah, so that's when you have to be more cautious, yeah? Okay. So we're going to the end of the road, but by looking at the signs, which way are we going to go? Uh, left. Which way can we? Yeah, we can only go left, isn't it? Yeah. So we still want a signal for that. Good, remember, start braking early. What gear are we going to use? Yeah, good. Keep braking more. Start, yeah, start turning. Turn more, more turning. Clutch down a little bit. Okay. 
start straight up. So more to the right. Right. Yeah. And bring the clutch a bit higher. Okay. Let's carry on. Yeah, so if you wanna control it, remember you wanna bring the clutch down a bit, you're bringing it up yeah. too early there again. Yeah, okay. Yeah. It's so hard using the clutch and the gas. Okay, let's take the next road on the left. It's just where those people are walking, yeah? Take a left row one more time, good. Okay. Well done. Let's pull up on the left again, please. And be a reference point. Reference point, thank you. That's it, and secure. Good. Always use that reference point until you're really comfortable with stopping without using it, without getting too close to the curb. Okay. okay. So, uh, what do you reckon happened at that turn there when you um, we went a bit close to the? So I w I lifted the clutch too high. Mm. I think because I was trying to use gas at the same time, so mm. I just got a little bit confused. Okay. So um, let's let's try it one more time here again. Yeah. And I want to show you how to do it. Let's say you're moving off quick and you feel the car going a bit quick. You want to bring the clutch down a bit as well so that your car doesn't go too fast, okay? So we're going to move off and then bring the clutch down a bit just to control our speed. So we're not going into the road, we're just going to try again on the left, yeah? Is that okay? Yeah. Okay, when you're ready. So get into one. Mm -hmm. So handbrake down because we imagine that we're at a junction here, yeah? So just handbrake yeah. down. Handbrake down already before you do anything else, yeah? So we try and move, move off with a bit of gas. But then this time, as you need to start moving, Yes, yeah, so a bit of gas. Okay, yeah, do I lift my clutch? A tiny bit, yeah, okay. to the bite. A bit higher than that. Yeah. yeah, and then bring it down a tiny bit, like that. Then yeah. up again, and then down a tiny bit. Yeah, not that high up when you bring up, yeah? Bring up again, and then down a tiny bit. There you go. Stop there, please. Okay, so see how that works? When you do yeah. that, the car doesn't go fast. Yeah. Okay, should we try it one more time? Yeah. And down a bit. Yeah, and then down a bit. Yeah, that's it. And then once you finish the turn, then you'd come off smoothly. Okay. Yeah. So we'll stop again, please. Because what happened there is, is, as you're turning, before you actually finish the turn, your clutch was going higher and higher, and that tells the car to go faster and faster. Yeah. And it's going to make it really tricky for you to straighten out your wheels. Yeah. Um, but if you want to control it, control it just the way you just done there with your clutch, with your foot. Yeah. Up and down, up and down. And then once you've got the car straight, and then you bring up smoothly okay. all the way, yeah? Should okay. we try some more? Yeah. We're like driving on and then some more turns. Okay, yeah. Okay, when you're ready, yeah? Okay. Make sure you can hear the gas in the background. There you go. Good. Your speed as you go around here. You want to go keep more left as well. That's it. You want to be on our side. More left, please. That's it. Good. So every time you go around the bend, you don't want to go fast yeah. in there. Okay, at the end of the road, turn left, please. Good. Well done. Think about your position as you approach as well. Break a bit more, break a bit more. So we'll try here with a bit of gas as well, yeah? So we'll do the same technique as I showed you. Yeah. That's it. Okay. 
There you go. Sorry. What was wrong? I thought I just went forward a bit. No, that was good. Okay. That was good. And then take the next road on the left, please. Okay. Actually, no, ignore that. It's a bit too soon. Carry on going straight. Yeah. Okay. I thought it was a bit. I thought it was a bit further away. Take the next road on the left. It's just after the bus stop, bus okay? Stop. Yeah, after the bus stop. So mirror, mirror signal from now and start braking early, yeah? Brake more, please. Do you think you'd get one for this one? Yeah. Yes, definitely. Yeah, keep braking more. Brake more than that. Brake more. That's it. And then ease off the clutch smoothly. Just keep turning. That's it. Good. Hold on. left we can share it a little bit so, good let's take the next road on the left please so remember think about where you're signaling how, how far away do you want to signal from the junction oh, yeah Excellent. So this turn here, so the end of the road is a bit weird. If, if it goes towards the left a bit first, and then okay. we're gonna we're gonna turn right, but you need to watch out for the, the way the road curves. Okay, we're turning right then, please. What gear should you select? Um, one. one, yeah. So look at the line on the floor. So you wanna follow it. Oh, right. You see it, yeah. Do I have to stop? If it's, it's busy, yeah. So we don't know where this guy's going, do yeah. he's probably going straight, so we just wait for him, yeah? Okay. Okay, when you're ready. Same technique as before. Down a bit, down a bit on the clutch, down, there you go. A bit less gas, less gas. Oh, less gas. That's it. There's so much gas there. So. Okay. Good. Yeah, just before I said down a bit, I saw your foot was coming up again yeah. too early, yeah? So okay. that's why we want to bring it down a bit, yeah? Okay. Let's carry on. Well, don't worry, we'll do more of these, you, 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 yeah. you're going to get better, okay? Into two, please. Oh, yes. So, that same technique, anywhere you are that you're trying to control your speed, you're going to use that same technique. So, if you're going through like a tight gap where there's like lots of vehicles yeah. in the way, you can use that same technique as well. Yeah. yeah? Take the next road on the left, please. Think about your speed here. Yeah, let's brake now. Let's oh, brake. Okay. That's it. That's why it's vibrating, yeah? Because okay. you, you've done nicely to control the speed there, but once you've got the right speed that you want and you're turning smoothly. I can just turn. You don't need the brake anymore, okay. just ease off it smoothly. Okay. Especially when you start feeling that vibration there. Yeah, okay. Because yeah. there, could you do it in one? Was that good for do, for two there? Uh, yeah. Yeah, it was really it was wide, wide, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, super wide. So two was fine. Yeah, okay. um, so yeah, once you've done the turn, just ease off the, uh, the brake and yeah. carry on. Yeah. So this lady, the lady goes behind us, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Use your breakers off, please, because we want to... Sorry. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah, start turning some more. Turn more, turn more. And then down a bit on the clutch. That's it. And then straighten up quickly, 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 quickly. There you go. Better that time. Didn't have to... Yeah. <laughs> didn't have to break for you that time. <laughs> yeah. Just turn quicker, because it's quite a sharp yeah. turn. So once you've turned the turn, you have to turn really quick. Keep turning I'm really quickly. I'm doing a lot at once, so I'm forgetting to do that. I'm All right. So once you start moving and controlling the clutch properly, then you're forgetting the steering wheel. Yeah, exactly. okay. yeah. yeah, it's all about multitasking. Let's take the next road on the left, please. 
gear you can use for this one. Yeah. Good. That's it. Well done. Are you happy to kind of, for the next couple of turns, uh, decide when to go into gear one? Or do you yeah. want me to help you a bit more? I'll try and do it uh, okay. myself, see how I go. Okay. Much better positioning this time, well done. Exactly, yeah. So if somebody's flying around on that side, coming yeah. around the bend, we want to be on our side, isn't yeah. it? Okay, at the end of the road, turn left, please. Bring your speed down uh, much earlier than this brake more, but so, yeah, much earlier than that, yeah. Yes, well done. That one was really good. Take the next left, please. Good. So the road just bends to the left, we just follow it around that way, please. Okay, pull over on the left in a safe place, please. Nice pullover, well done. Um, so how do you feel that's, uh, that's going so far? Um, it's okay, I, I just want to still improve on like the turning and mm. the clutch control. Because mm -hmm. there are points where like I'm doing okay and then suddenly I kind of put too much gas or lift the clutch too high, one of those, mm. and then I move forward a bit too mm. fast. So I need to just get better at controlling it. Yeah, on the last couple of turns, those are really good, by the way. Thank you. Um, and also remember, you're not going to get it perfect straight away. Yeah. Even if you get it perfect one time, yeah. it's not always going to be perfect again yeah. over and over. You're going to make the uh, same mistakes quite a lot of times. It's yeah. a normal part of driving, okay? Yeah. Um, but yeah, you've done really well there. Uh, so just remember, the way you've done it over there was really good. Just a bit of gas and then bringing the clutch up and down a tiny bit. And then even easing off a bit, bit of gas as well once you've moved off so that the car's not going too fast. Okay. And then just controlling your steering as well. Okay. Yeah. Should we do some more? Yes. Okay. I'm just, you... Can I put this visor? Yeah, you can. Here. So just take, take it out. Take just it clip out, out there. Yeah. There we go. 
Is that better? Yeah, because it's burning my neck. Alright, when you're ready. Okay. You might want to open the window a tiny bit as well. Oh, yeah, sorry, I forgot about that. Yeah, that'll give you. Yeah. yeah. There you go. It's quieter now, those kids gone in. Yeah. <laughs> clutch down so let's try with the gas first remember gas first oh yeah yeah just get into the habit of using the gas first that's it and then get the bike is my clutch too high uh no it's not it's the right at the right point now so try to bring it down again yeah sorry i need to adjust my it's okay foot. so if you do it really slowly you're less likely to notice when you've got the biting point you want to kind of get into the habit of pressing the gas and then boom, get into the clutch, just get into the biting point. So okay. gas and then like that. And then sometimes when you bring it up, it might be too high, bring it down a tiny bit. Okay. Yeah, so let's try it. So gas straight down and then clutch a bit higher. Bang. Yeah. yeah. Well done. We're not turning left here, okay? Okay. Are you happy with your speed going towards the speed bump? So down. Good. At the end of the road, let's turn right, please. Okay. So get your mirrors and signals out of the way. Remember, when you slow, go approach it slowly. Yeah. yeah, clutch down as well. Keep braking more. So, so you approach it slowly, more. Yeah. That's it. Good. Good. Once that lady's gone, I think you have a better view, like it. behind oh, okay. the trees. She was blocking your view because you can't really see behind there. Yeah, that van's in the way. Okay. Can you see behind the van though? Not really. Okay. It's going to come forward a little bit. Yeah. Okay, it's probably because you're a bit too far forward there because sometimes you can see behind the vehicles that's blocking your view. I can see it like on the side, mm. but not completely like... Not like on the road? Not really. Okay. Let's turn left of the roundabout, please. Which side do we look at roundabouts again? Right. Yeah. So approach you ready to stop if there's somebody there, yeah? Okay. If there's not, we just carry on. Yeah. yeah. Well done. And the next roundabout, we're turning left. Roundabout's just here, so you want to slow down more? Okay. Yeah. Signal left, slow down please. Sorry, sorry. Signal left. Okay, I'll get you back into gear one, yeah? Yes. Keep braking some more, please. Brake some more, brake some more. Just want to check that side properly. And turn, yeah. Good, well done. Good, con good control there. Thank you. Did you know the roundabout was that close, or did you think it was further? Um, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Because if you start speeding up, that's why I was, I was a bit confused. Let's carry on. How can you tell where mini roundabouts are? Uh, the sign? Yeah, the blue sign tells yeah. you where they are, yeah? Yeah. A bit more left here, please. That's it. down for the bumps yeah. break a bit that's it they do look smooth these ones but they're not yeah. when you go over them they throw the car in the air yeah. 
good, so do your thing. Well done. Remember we can see it. Done. That was really oh. tight. That was really good. <laughs> Thank you. That was awesome. And let's go left at the lights, please. Okay. That's how it's done, okay? That's really good. We're going left here, please. Mirror, mirror signal. Stop. Yeah. Not too far left, though, yeah. Don't go too far left. Stop. Stop, stop. Okay, into gear one, please. I was saying don't go into gear one left because this is a bike lane here, on here, yeah? Oh. Also, the, the line for us is a bit behind. Oh, right. Yeah, so let's concentrate on the lights for now. Okay. We can talk about it after, yeah? Okay. Which mirror are you going to check as you move off? Left. Good. Get the scooter, lady on the scooter. Okay, well done. Check the left again. That's it. Slowly, please, clutch down a bit. Turn, turn, turn. turn. Let's go. That's it. So that lady shouldn't have been crossing, but yeah. you handled that well. Well done. I think that was my first traffic light. Was it? Yeah. Oh, well done. <laughs> Was it, was it as bad as you thought it was going to be? Uh, slight, I don't know, I was still yeah. nervous because I was at the front as well. Okay, yeah. I think there was a lot going on there too. With yeah, that lady, two, the scooter. Two scooters, yeah. yeah. Someone crossing in front of you as you're turning. Yeah. Okay. Got thrown in at the deep end there. And, you're yeah. done. <laughs> and you swam quite well, well done. <laughs> Take the next road on the right, please. Just here. Mm -hmm. Turn. That's it. Good. See, it was a bit you, it's a bit rumbly, but um, you handled it quite well. And you're moving your hands really quick as well, which is why your car's going in the right direction. Yeah. There. Well done. A safe place, please. Yeah. yeah, so we can aim for one after him, yeah, because yeah. he's, uh, he's using that parking space for his foot, so let's use a, a different bay. Nice, nice stop. Yeah, sometimes you're gonna pull over or try to pull over, and there'll be people uh, in the space that you that you want to end up in. So you just kind of choose a different place because obviously there he's got his foot in the road. We can't. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we can't park on with his foot. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, how do you feel you did on that little lap we just did there? Uh, did a bit better. Mhm. Mm um, I think my I'm getting a bit used to holding the clutch still, like when I'm moving and using it to slow down if I need to. Yeah. Um. The only thing that I sort of panicked a little bit on was when that lady was crossing when she shouldn't have been. Mm. So I sort of, that was my first time having to stop quite quickly mm. um, for something unexpected. So I think the car jerked a little bit. I can't remember what I did. I might have pressed 
I pressed the brake on the clutch. Maybe I lifted the clutch too high after As you're I moving off. I can go. Okay. Yeah. yeah, you handled that pretty well. I think we got a similar situation last lesson as well. But it was on a roundabout when a lady was walking across a roundabout. Yeah. I don't know if you yeah, remember. I and then so. I was saying to you, don't go, don't try to avoid it by going really wide. Yeah. You still want to be in your own space. Yeah. And just slow the car down a yeah. bit. Yeah. Okay. So if somebody's, like that lady was in the way, you don't want to. Why is it not a good idea to go all the way around her? Um, if I'm too wide and like someone else is coming from the other side, I'm obstructing them. Exactly, yeah, you can be driving on the wrong lane. Yeah. Um, someone behind you as well, think about them. So if someone's driving behind you, you've gone that far out, they could potentially squeeze into that space on the yeah. left where you were supposed to be. And now you're having to like fight your way back onto the left side, yeah? Yeah. yeah. So same technique that you're using to control the car speed with your clutch. When you see a person in the way like that, same, same thing again, bring it down a bit more. And then if they're still in the way, then it's all the way down Stop. and brake, yeah. Okay. But if they're, it's just, they're kind of in the way a little bit, just bring it down to control your speed. And then yeah. once they've gone, start bringing it up again smoothly and yeah. then carry on. Okay. Yeah? yeah. You handled that really well, to be honest with you, because there was a lot going on there. Yeah. Scooter. Yeah. Uh, no, there's, there's two scooters, two right? Scooters. Yeah. And if you're at the front, you're, you're right. You need to be really careful when you're at the front yeah. because you're the one that's going to have to move before everyone else does, right? Yeah. So if you're not paying attention, what could happen there, do you think? Um, you'll hold up traffic. Yeah. You won't see that the light's changing and now yeah. everyone's beeping you. Yeah. Um, so yeah, you always... I know it sounds obvious, but um, on a lot of lessons, people just get distracted. They start looking around looking out outside and then the yeah. light has been green for a while yeah so you always want to be looking at the light and then be ready to go and then yeah. also observing what's around you so well done for that okay thank you um and as we turned into this side road here you said oh it was a bit rumbly mm -hmm. it was but as you added more gas it, it was better it was okay wasn't it, it smoothed itself yeah. out yeah if you know it's going to be really narrow then you go into one we, did you go into two? Uh, did you leave it in two I deliberately there? Two, yeah? yeah. Yeah. So that was fine actually. Um, so I'll, I think I should just kind of let you carry on making that decision because so far you've been making the right decisions okay. about which gate to use. Okay. So um, yeah, I'll let you carry on doing that. If it's wrong, obviously I'll, I'll intervene. Yeah, yeah. But I want you to be confident in making that decision yourself. Yeah. Now, okay. Okay. Any questions? No, not so. All right. Cool. Let's drive on, please, when you're ready. Okay. Good. Well done. get to the end of the road we're turning left please okay. turn sharper yeah So once you're coming up, just turn a bit sharper. Okay. Foot control wise is a really good thing. Traffic lights, let's turn left please. Well done. Yes, please. Remember, if you're ever in doubt, just check there again to see which way you've signaled, yeah? Yeah. That way you know. I'm going to be 
just move sure. it. Less gas, less gas, that's it, and carry on. Sorry. It's okay. Remember, you're not going to get it perfect every time, so. Yeah. Hopefully we get in a bit of traffic so we can practice that same technique with the clutch because okay. there's nothing that forces you to do that well than traffic. Yeah. Okay, let's slow down a bit more here please. Do I have to stop here? I think there's space. Let's keep going forward. Yeah, there's space. Okay. In front of the van? Behind the van, yeah. I mean behind yeah. that, sorry. Okay. Gear one. Gear one, yeah. Clutch down, clutch down. That's it, smooth, yeah. Well done. What the van's doing, he's slowing down because he's stopping you. Yeah? Good. Were you thinking about the keep clear sign? Is that what you were saying? Yeah, yeah that was a good, it's good to think about that nice and early. Um, so, if you're, if you're not sure whether there's enough space or not, what do you do? Um, just wait behind. Yeah, just wait where you are. Uh, there, because I was helping you, because there's enough space. But in the yeah. future, when you if you have to make that decision yourself, if in doubt, just wait behind yeah. the line. Yeah. Here, the road is forcing us to go into the the wrong side because that side is blocked, which is why there's a temporary light. So we're trying to go where the bus is coming from towards um, Kensal Rise. Rise. So yeah. Wait, so that, like I go down where Kensal Rise is. Uh, we're not going to go that far, but that's. Here the road's gonna split into two, one towards Kenzie Rise, so one I towards Hosman. Yeah, basically, yeah. Okay. But we're gonna be on the wrong side for a bit first, yeah. and then we need to go to the back to the correct side, yeah. Okay. Am I able to go into neutral like when this is yeah. taking quite a while? Yeah, but can you see the light from here? Yeah. Yeah, so we're going to neutral until the light changes. Because okay. you have enough time. The bus has to move first and then the car behind the bus and then the van. Okay. Yeah. Because my leg kind of hurts when I'm on the clutch yeah, for a while. Yeah, it does. A lot but of people. I have to keep my foot on the brake. You do, you do. Unless you use the handbrake, then you can come off the brake, yeah? Yeah, I'm just a bit nervous to do that in this situation. That's fine. So <laughs> I haven't done it before. Yeah, just use the brake for now. Okay. When you get more experience, you can just put, put your handbrake on and then... Because to do all that quickly it takes quite yeah. a practice <laughs> and it can be a bit tricky, yeah? Okay. But if you're the first person, until you get really experienced, I'd say just stay in gear one. Yeah. So that you can move off smoothly without worrying about having to get into gear and all that kind of stuff. So the light goes to orange, get your car into gear yeah. so you're ready to go, yeah? I know there's some sort of, there's some debate sometimes about whether you should always go into neutral when you stop at the lights. Yeah. But I'm not if you're the, not that experienced. Yeah. So let the van move first before you move, yeah? yeah. I think my mum goes into neutral, I've noticed she does that when she yeah. stops. She's experienced. Yeah. So we're just following where the bus is going, yeah? A bit more gas please. Yes, please slow down a bit more. That's it. Good, well done.
you think about the space between the bus and the cars, is there enough for us there? Uh, yes. Yes, there is. So position yourself a bit more right. Yeah, then we're just keeping an eye on the bus's signal, but he's still signaling left, so we don't need to worry about him. Yeah. But when, when you're here, see so you signaled right, yeah. we're already committed, so we'll carry on, yeah? Yeah. A bit more gas, please. Taking the next road on the left, just well, just after the bus stop there, yeah. So you want to start slowing that. It's quite tight. It looks wide, but it's not. It's not wide, okay. okay. Yeah, yeah. So what you gonna have to do if it's not wide? Okay. Yeah, brake more. That's okay. Yeah, turn. I think because of that island there, a lot of my other learners mistake that it's, they think it's a wide turn. Yeah. So they try to do it in two, it doesn't work. So if this bend was getting any sharper or there's more things going on, then what would you do? Going to gear one. Yeah, but yeah. once we've gone around the bend, we can see it was opening up a bit more. Yeah. So you don't need to really go into one there, yeah? Yeah, let's use your brake a bit more. Sorry. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> brake, yeah, brake more. Yeah. It's because they don't even look that bad, these bumps, but once yeah. <laughs> it's the way they're shaped. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're going straight at this roundabout, please. Okay. Can you see the right properly? Um, Not really, so what are you going to do then? Stop. Maybe get into gear one at least, yeah? yeah. And we're only concerned about the right. Yeah. If the right's clear, we'll move, yeah? Okay. And then these guys wait for us, okay? Yeah. Good. So, let's turn left of the roundabout, please. Is it right on this one? No. no. Excellent, well done. So anytime you can't see, um, especially on the roundabout, the right, you need to go really slowly. Yeah. And if you still can't see, then what do you do? Stop yeah, completely. good. Check it out for a minute and then, or not a minute, but just check it out and then when you know it's clear, you carry on, yeah? yeah. Good little mirror check there as well. Hold on. The car was parked a bit wide, isn't it? There. Yeah. Making it difficult for you to turn. Yeah. Start your brake a bit.
actually done it though. So well done. <laughs> Yeah, we're going straight at the lines this time, yeah? So if you look at the cars in front of you, what are some of them doing? Going right. Yeah. So if they're going right, where are you going to position yourself? Um, to the left. Slightly left of them, then, so you can go around, yeah? Have a little, little check on the mirrors on the left. So I think this guy's going right as well. Keep more left, please. Go around it. Can I go around? Uh, let's let's it's not. There's not much space. Yeah. See, this guy's signal probably would have been a bit easier, and if he'd positioned a bit more to the right. Yeah. But let's carry on anyway when it's safe. Keeping on the lights. Yeah. 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 Good. More gas, please. That's it. Do you know why I did that? Um, I, did I press the gas too much? Or too early. Too early. So you've changed into two, and then yeah. before you brought the clutch up, you pressed the gas. Yeah. That's why I did that, yeah? What do you notice coming up? Uh, uh, what else? Slow down, please. Slow down, please. Um, Go around about. Yeah. Oh, sorry. It's okay. We're going straight at this okay. roundabout. What gauge should we use? Uh, one. One. Please slow down some more. Break, break, break. Clutch. Clutch. Go straight ahead. Yes, please. Well, because we couldn't see because of that uh, fence there. Definitely gear one. Yeah. And definitely go really slowly. Yeah. Space, yeah, so slow down a bit because remember, learners will take a bit longer to turn sometimes. Yeah, that's it. Probably not as experienced as you, so you just give them a chance. Yeah. <laughs> so, I would have it's a good idea to change to one, but I would have got a bit closer first before changing, so like around. Here I would have changed if the light was still red, that is, yeah. Am I rolling back? Mm-mm. <laughs> for a second. If you're, ever in, if you're ever unsure whether you're rolling back, just look underneath the wing mirror. Yeah. And then you will see whether you're rolling back or not. Slower for the bumps though, yeah? With these bumps, as you approach them, do you feel like you're going slow already? Um, or no. is it sometimes? Well, I mean sometimes. Okay. Sometimes I think my speed can handle it, but mm. it's We're taking the next left, just after this lorry, please. It is quite wide, but it's quite sharp it is though, so what should you do? Yeah. Good. Well, let's pull up on the left, please.
Good. How are you feeling so far? Um, I'm feeling all right. Um, I think I'm getting a little bit better. Mm. Um, but still, I think there was one during this lap, there was that one really narrow um, left turn mm. only. Mm. I struggled on a little bit. I forgot, what it, I, I forgot what I did. I just know that I can't I remember that I just struggled. I think it was the clutch lifting it too high. Or, okay. I can't remember though. Um, you've turned, yeah? Yeah. I think you were turning a bit slow. The yeah, clutch actually, was, yeah, that's The clutch was. was good because if your clutch wasn't good, then it wouldn't have worked because you turned a bit slow, but then I think you realised, so you put your clutch down a bit more, then you've turned quicker and then it worked. Otherwise, if your clutch was wrong there, it definitely wouldn't have worked, yeah? Yeah. Um, yeah, you've done pretty decently there, actually. There was uh, a time when you were going approaching a roundabout and I said to you what's coming up next I don't know oh, yeah, I think maybe I was expecting it too much there because uh, there were signs for a roundabout I don't think you were paying attention to that because you said speed bumps I think or you said no you said a left turn yeah yeah I think that's because if we've turned left there a couple of times yeah maybe that's what that's what you're concentrating on but I was talking more about um the roundabout yeah. that was coming up yeah I think one thing is I forget to stop at roundabouts do you have yeah. to stop all the time um, not all the time, but I should slow down to check my right. Yes. So if you're approaching it, and let's say you... Do you know the one where I was saying to you, let's go towards Kenzo Rise, or you can go towards Harlesden, yeah? Yeah. That round, do, you know, do you remember that roundabout? The one with the traffic light in the Yeah, way. yeah. Yeah. With that one, you can see clearly from far away on the right, isn't it? And if there was no one coming from there, you just keep it moving, right? Yeah. But there was some other roundabouts we dealt with. We couldn't see the right until we got like basically by the giveaway line, yeah, isn't it? Yeah. Those ones you'd have to uh, pretty much stop, yeah, then check it out or go really slowly. And then if it's clear, once you know for certain it's clear, then you keep moving. There are some that you won't know unless you've stopped first. And then um, what you can use, what you call a peep and creep technique. Have you yeah. heard of that before? Yeah. What, what, what's involved in the peep? So it's sort of like you bring your clutch up and down really gently to kind of peep forward mm -hmm. um, to see um, just to get a better view yeah and then it also kind of like if the cars are far away it kind of shows that you're coming forward a little bit yeah from a distance so that they can plan ahead exactly okay. yeah and so if you're just darting out yeah. so the peeps part of it is you moving your body first before you move the car Oh, okay. So you peep forward as far as you can. So you stretch forward and look, and then if you can't see anymore, then you just then the creep bit comes in. So you creep a tiny bit, yeah. peep. That's why it's called peep and creep. Yeah. yeah? yeah. So you don't you're not just gonna sit here and then move the car forward because you haven't really done anything to yeah. try to look forward. Yeah? yeah. So you peep peep as much as you can and then creep slowly yeah. and then move off if it's safe. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You've done a bit of it. I remember earlier when that van was blocking your view. Yeah. And you couldn't see, yeah. yeah. That was basically peep and creep because you were trying as much as you can, but yeah. you couldn't do it. Okay. Uh, you always use that technique, yeah? Yeah. Um, here, I don't know if you've noticed, but we are on a slight hill. A little bit, yeah, yeah. yeah. What do you reckon would happen if I release the handbrake right now? Roll back. Yeah. So when you're moving off to prevent that happening, what would you have to do? Um, you'd have to set the gas mm -hmm. quite a bit and make sure you hold the biting point as you're moving as you yeah. release the handbrake exactly yeah so it's probably the same amount of gas by the way in this bit yeah, you won't need the extra gas because it's not it's not really yeah if it's super steep then yeah but most most hills just require a normal amount of gas oh, okay as long as you maintain that gas as you're moving off mm -hmm. yeah um and also the clutch is really important here as well so when you're moving don't bring the clutch up this is when you really important that you don't bring the clutch up too high. Okay. Yeah? Because the car will need quite a bit of power to move forward and if you bring it up too high, it's gonna stall, yeah? Should we try it? Okay. Okay. And do mm. you stay in the lower gear a little bit longer for up When you're hill? climbing up a hill, well, yes. Okay. You've ridden a mountain bike before with gears on it? No. <laughs> no. No. Okay. I was just gonna give you an example, but because basically on bikes, when you ride them, if you're on a low gear, you can go up a hill really easily, but on a, oh. on a high gear, it's hard, but it's fast, it's, it will struggle with your legs. Yeah. Will be, yeah, same for a car, basically. Yeah. So you need to go faster in the low gear and then change. Yeah. Okay, when you're ready, please. Okay.
good. So that one's quite easy, but we'll do other hill starts when you like, you know, like on your road, when you're moving already on the road yeah. and you stop and then move again. Yeah. That's a bit tricky. We'll practice that in a different time, yeah? Okay. But that was a good one. Let's turn left at the end, please. Your clutch, yeah. Oh. I wasn't sure where that car was going. Was it? Could you see a signal? The one that the last one to turn that way. Um, the the one that was in front of me. The one that stopped in the middle of the road. Oh, I didn't. I didn't notice. Oh, okay. The traffic lights, let's turn left, please. So approach it slower because it could change as we approach. You saw that's why they put these speed bumps here, yeah? yeah? Slow down some more. That's it, and then check your left mirror as well. Your left one, that's it. And turn, yeah? Slow down some more, a bit more left, that's it. Good. Especially if the other cars are going fast, yeah. you want to reduce your speed a little bit, yeah? yeah. Here, yeah. Go around. That's it. So if that bus had come out more, then we mm -hmm. stop. But he, he should wait for us. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Wait. Were you asking for the for this bus or for the bus on the left? Um, both. <laughs> So I'm hoping there's, there's a bit of traffic on here just so we can practice that clutch control. Yeah. So to make it easier for you, you know, when people are turning in front of you, yeah. so let's say this bus is turning in, into that side road, yeah. you have priority. should be getting into. Yeah. That's it. Let's keep it slow, yeah? yeah. So especially here, get, go a bit slower because that bus is going to take up a bit of space. Oh. Use your brake a bit, please. Once the bus goes through, we should have enough space, yeah? That's it. Hello. So you see the car in front is turning, so just position yourself a bit more left, oh, yeah? Okay. Let's check your left mirror first next time, that's it. 
go past him and then position yourself and move to the right again. Good. Your steering is really good for you here, by the way. Well done. Thank you. We're turning right at these lights, please. Yeah, so the light's been green for a while, so just be ready for it to, to change. But once you get light here, you don't stop if it starts changing yet. Yeah? one here because I think there's a lot going on in front especially with that car stopping yeah. good let's take the next left please so I approach this quite slowly okay because it's Especially with that white car on the way as well a little bit, this parked car. Let's go slowly. Get it turning. Good. Take the next left, please. What do you think about this turn? Uh, one. Definitely. Break more, because you see this car's coming out as well, so the, so the space will be a bit smaller, yeah? yeah? Turn more, please. Turn sharp, 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 sharp. Okay. You want to you turn really sharply, because we don't want to go into their lane, basically, yeah. yeah? So turn sharper. Let's go forward. Clutch a bit off? Yeah, clutch higher. That's it. And we keep really slow here until you straighten up, yeah? There you go. A bit more left. That's it. It's careful that the guy in the road here just goes slowly. Have your clutch ready as well. Yeah. So you don't want to hit this guy. of the road turn left please so again you can see the space is getting smaller here isn't it so we approach it slowly have your clutch ready to stop him in case there's not enough space but it looks like it's okay right now isn't it that's it clutch down let's go forward a little bit more that's it good Break a bit more so we can go a bit more forward so we can see more of the road. Yeah, that's good. So we only look left. I'm going to help you a bit here as well because we've got oh, yeah. these people on the left here as well. Yeah, so let me just have I'll have the clutch. Okay, yeah, come off the brake. And because we've got this lady in, in the road as well. Yeah. I've got the brake as well, yeah? Okay. Start turning more left, please. More. Okay, straighten out. Okay, you have control again, yeah? Okay, thank you. It's okay. Yeah, that one's a bit tricky because we've got people working there, setting up yeah. stuff, the lady trying to cross. You want to use the same technique as before, use a bit of gas as well as you're moving off. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, clutch down to stop. And then same technique. 
that's it, good. It's okay, it's okay. Okay, let's creep forward a bit. Let's go forward a bit more. That's it. Going forward, keep, keep going sorry, forward. Sorry. It's okay. Sorry. It's alright, it's okay. Can I stall? Mm -hmm. Sort of, sort of. Okay. Yeah, that's it. Was your foot getting uncomfortable? Yes, yeah. <laughs> So we're going to go straight at this roundabout, yeah? Okay. So here, we're, we're looking to the cars coming from there, but right now there's no one there, so let's keep moving. Okay. We're going to go around a bit, yeah? We're going to go like this way around. Keep going forward. But we're going to go around it like that, yeah? That's it. Turning left, please. So this is where you need to use that technique, okay? okay. Let's gas, let's gas, okay. Sorry. No, you're doing good, you're doing good, you're doing good, you're doing good. We're gonna go left here, yeah? Use your clutch control as well. And then you just turn anyway. That's it. Forward a bit more, same technique. Oh. Clutch, clutch a bit higher. Clutch a bit higher. Yeah. That's it. And then down again, a bit higher. Yeah. Again? Yep. So we're going to go a bit more forward, yeah. And then down again. That's it. And relax. Switch the engine off, please. Now you can chill out. <laughs> Did you expect to go on the road like that and come home? <laughs> I was going to tell you, but I thought, nah, if I tell you, you're going to be more nervous about yeah, it. Yeah, I was okay. Yeah, it was all right then, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah there was on. a lot more going on than I expected. Like, there was roadworks and stuff like that. There was a lot more people challenging you than I was expecting, and because yeah. people were trying to come out of you all from all sides, yeah, wasn't they? Like yeah. the bus, first of all, yeah. other cars, vans. Yeah. Um, it's not normally like that, by the way, but for some reason, I don't know because of the time, but yeah, there was probably. a lot of people. There were a lot of people trying to like get in your way. Yeah. It's not normally like that. Um, but you're really brave with it as well. You weren't like trying to slam your brake or chicken about it. Yeah. You knew what you were, because if you, if you're confident in what you're doing, yeah, other drivers can see that. But if you're scared and you're hanging back. It gives mixed signals. Yeah. It lets them think, oh, she's letting me through or she's doing this. But if you're just kind of confident with it, then they're more likely to back off. Yeah. Obviously, if they come out, come out too far, what do you need to do? I need to stop. Then you have to stop, yeah. yeah. Um, then they've given you that, that choice, they've taken it out of your hands, you have to yeah. stop. But normally, if you know you've got priority, you want to be confident and keep the car moving, yeah? yeah. Well done. Thank that you. That was really good. Thank you. Um, obviously, there was a bit of a thing there with, the, with that police car that was turning. But I think you said oh, your foot yeah. was climbing up high, wasn't it? There. I need to, yeah, I think that's. Um, so when I'm in traffic, mm. my foot climbs up so much, it's quite bad. So mm. I need to practice just keeping it in the same place. I think I'll get used to it over time, but mm. it was climbing up so high that when I actually had to move, it was too high. It's too high, and mm. then there was times I felt like I really had to go into neutral and reset. Mm. Mm. But it's too. I can't do all that in the short amount of time I had. Um, if it's that bad, you can, don't feel like you have to keep the car moving because you're in traffic. If you yeah. need to do something with your foot to make it safe, Safer, do that, yeah. Yeah. yeah, do that. Because I feel like if I, if I just continue to move when it's all the way up here, mm. I, I'd probably stall. So that would yeah. be worse than me just stopping for a second to yeah, readjust. Yeah, exactly. Um, 
yeah so sometimes just stop for a second or once you've stopped in traffic just go into neutral and then bring it down clutch down gear one again and then move on okay. yeah uh, i know for a lot of learners there's a, there's a pressure to keep moving they feel like if i don't yeah. keep moving then like i look like i'm an amateur and i'm holding everyone up but um it's not like that at all sometimes <laughs> you need to do it to be safe yeah, yeah? Uh, how do you feel that went though? Let me just start taking some notes. Yeah, um, I thought that was, it was good and I thought, yeah, like you said, I had more challenges and I felt like I dealt with them um, all right. <laughs> mm. um, so my clutch control got better mm -hmm. as from the beginning of the lesson towards the end. I was, I'm, my brain's sort of associating now the clutch with um, controlling the speed at first because before it was always gas and brake that's mm. the only things that could make it move or stop but mm. then now I'm getting used to using the clutch to slow down when I need to mm. um, my you steering really was better by the way. oh really you did, thank yeah. you um, I think my steering got a bit better as well yeah um, and even just things like noticing when to do certain things in situations. So if coming around a bend, hmm. I need to slow down and just look out as well. Um, so basically being more aware of your being surroundings. Being more aware of surroundings, yeah. Hmm. I, I'm getting a little bit better at. Um, I still want to practice though the clutch control. Of course. That's going to be practiced pretty much all the time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, and, the, and the gas. I, oh, one thing that I kept doing wrong mm -hmm. was I, I was pressing the gas to way too much at times okay um i don't know if that was just by habit or like if like i said i think i said last week that when one's going down the other one i mean when one's going up i press more on the other one mm. where i should be a bit more steady on the gas mm. at first mm. so as this is coming up i'm pressing too much down mm. with my right foot which i shouldn't be yeah, so, luckily for you though, because the times that you did it, the clutch was controlled. If it was which is why it yeah. didn't go flying off. Okay. Because if you don't clutch, if you don't control the clutch and, and you've got lots of gas, what will happen? It would just zoom exactly, forward. Exactly. Yeah. So you put, you're giving it lots of power, and then you're giving it power with the with the clutch. But if you control the how much power you have with the clutch, even if you've got lots of gas on, yeah, it doesn't go anywhere. Yeah. It just makes lots of noise. Yeah. As long as you're aware that's happening and then you ease off and then you control the clutch properly. Yeah. It shouldn't be too much of a big deal right now. Uh, obviously you're gonna get smoother, but the main thing that I'm really pleased with you today is the way you were controlling the clutch, which made a lot of things easier for you. Yeah. Like turns and things. Yeah. Yeah. Once you kind of like you're saying you're associating your speed with con with the clutch. Yeah, yeah. Once you understand that, yeah. Really the rest of it kind of starts working itself out because yeah. that's the hard part about controlling the car, especially when it comes to moving off. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, any any things that you weren't sure about that you get confused about as we were doing a drive? Um, or that I didn't answer as we were. I don't think so. I just I sort of like know what I did good and what I need to improve on for yeah. today. Um, I think sometimes you're turning a bit late when you're turning left though. Oh, okay. Yeah. So like, yeah. so even turning to the gate was okay, but it could have been a bit earlier. Do you know um, sometimes you're turning, you're having to kind of do a quick yeah, turn afters, yeah, yeah. It's because you're turning a little bit late. So I think we should maybe look at that next time, okay? okay? I think maybe it's because um, I I think I'm gonna if I turn too early mm. or a bit earlier than I usually do, sometimes I think I'm gonna go into the pavement. That's the possibility if you do turn too early, yes. That's, yeah. That's a, that that can be an issue, yeah. but at the moment you're turning too, sometimes too late. Too, like too wide? Too wide, yeah. Okay. So you're going, you're going past your turning point yeah. and then you're turning, so we can work on that okay. uh, on the next lesson that I see you, yeah? Um, so turning left. But in terms of what we set out to do today, I think you smashed it. Really? Yeah, controlling, <laughs> the, controlling the clutch and the gas. Um, and also you drove home today as well, which yeah. is I didn't quite think I was gonna drive home this time. No, you done you done alright. Um because we're starting at one next time. <laughs> Might even start here. Really? Yeah. Okay. Just, just turn left because that's not hard. Just turning left is not hard. Okay. I don't know if you know it's turning hard turning right is the hardest thing to do because yeah. you have to deal with two sets of traffic. But turning left. We'll see how you feel anyway, but I think you can do it. 
Okay. I'll, and I can always help you if you don't feel like yeah. it's a struggle, yeah? I think it's because when I first start, when I first get in the car, mm. the first drive, the first move off, mm. I feel a bit rusty because it's been a week. Mm. So hopefully I'll be alright. Yeah, right. no, you'll be fine because there's there has to be a point when you have, when you start from home, yeah? Yeah, exactly. And I think we're, we're getting there now. Okay. okay. Um, but, and I can always help you as well. Yeah, yeah. Cool. So yeah, next time we we'll work on the left turns. Uh, we'll do a bit more of what we've done today, but we'll start here. Uh, do some more traffic lights and put that down as well. Yeah. So that was really good. Yeah, I do want to practice traffic lights actually. Yeah, we'll do a few more of those. And then um, maybe go on, on the high road again, just do with some more zebra crossings and things like that. Okay. And other people walking around. Because you see it's a completely different environment over there, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Than where we were before. Yeah. Where people are like all over the place. Yeah. Um, so we'll do a bit of that as well, yeah? Okay. Cool. So same time next week? Yeah, that's awesome. fine. Well done today. Thank well you. Well done. Really, you should be happy with that. That was really good. Thank you. Thank Did you. Did you have anything else back there? Just, wait, is it inside here? I had a, oh no, my pouch is on me. Got it, yeah? Yeah. Cool. Thank I'll you. I'll see you next week. Take care. Thank you. I'll see you. Bye. Okay, so that's the end of Liamara's lesson. As you can tell, she did really well there. Um, well, our main aim was really to concentrate on uh clutch control and gas as she's coming out of junctions as she's turning and she's done that really well she was managing to associate um, the the clutch control with how far she goes off when she's moving which is a, like a game changer really so now hopefully in the next few lessons she can start applying that on in different situations when she wants to go slowly so uh hopefully you guys enjoyed it um i'll see you on the next one guys